For God's kingdom is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of the righteousness, peace, and joy which the Holy Spirit gives. And when someone serves Christ in this way, he pleases God and is approved by others. So then, we must always aim at those things that bring peace and that help strengthen one another. And anyone else who would like to join us up front, too, got some ideas to share with you. And I think I have this on now. Does it sound like it's on? All right, good. good. Let's just sit on the steps. That's okay. A quick hug? All right. Thanks. And there it goes. Today, we lit the candle of, remember that word? P-E-A-C-E. What did you say, Landon? Peace. Can you pick up that foam piece? Right there. Two kinds of peace. P-I-E-C-E, which I just lost a piece of, something. And peace, P-E-A-C-E. What do you know about peace? Any ideas you want to share? Okay. Well, I wonder if anybody out there has a word that they think is synonymous, the same as peace. Anybody want to shout out a word? Calm. Good. I think there might have been another one. No war. How about stillness? Liam. Oh, excellent. Tranquility is one that your friends in the audience might know. Harmony. But I want us to explore peace in a different way. You know, ever since each one of you and each one of them out there was born, they started exploring, and you started exploring and learning about your world through something called your senses. Who knows one sense? Landon? Your eyes. Your eyes help you with the sense of seeing. And you use that sense of seeing to learn about your world. You know another one, Lan? What? Your ears. <gasps> Excellent. Your ears help you with hearing. So you use those ears to learn about your world. Tegan? Your nose. What does your nose help you do? Smell. Yes. And you can learn about your world by smelling too. Let's see. We used our eyes, our ears, our nose. You know another one, Landon? Mouth. What? What do you do with your mouth? You can breathe out of your mouth. You're supposed to use your nose for that one. What do you do? What do you learn about when you put something in your mouth? You eat, so then you get to? Taste, Delaney, right. You learn by tasting things. You learn that you might like a nice sour pickle, or you might like a sweet candy mint, right? Yeah. One more sense we haven't talked about. Liam? How do you feel things? What part of your body do you use? You can use your hands. Please sit up. You can use your hands. Landon, you're using your hand right now, aren't you? What does it feel like? Careful. <laughs> Don't tell me old skin. Okay. Oh, you feel warmth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Those are your senses, and you learn about the world through those senses. Well, I want us to think about how we learn about peace. 
with those senses. Liam, would you come on over here a second, please? Will you take one of these cards and hold it up in front of everybody out there? And anybody who can see what it says, would you read it out loud, please? Thanks. What does it taste like? Oh. Hmm. What are your favorite tastes? Uh, Apples. I heard chocolate. Strawberries. Liam, go ahead. Did you say something? Blueberries. Kiwis. Oh, I love it. Um, raise your hand if you think peace tastes like spinach. <laughs> cool. All right. Raise your hand if you think peace tastes like rotten eggs. Oh. Okay. Cool. I think we got a few ideas there about what brings us peace in our lives when we taste things. Thank you, Liam. Delaney, come on over. Can you pick one, please? All right, everybody, read it, please. What does peace feel like? What does it feel like? Now, it might be how it feels with these things, but it might be a feeling that comes inside. Liam, you have an idea? Um, yeah. Landon, I think you're kind of telling me what, with your actions right here, what peace feels like. What are you doing? Love. You're feeling love? How do you feel that love? Or what happens when you feel that love? You're hugging someone? Awesome. Any other ideas? What does peace feel like? Tranquility. Tranquility. Jill, what's happening when you're feeling that? Ah, so there's peace in how you're feeling the world around you. Cool. Anyone else want to share an example of how peace feels? I just feel the things that all around stuff being good. Oh, yeah, that sounds like peacefulness. <laughs> oh, sometimes, Shar, that's right. You know, there are no wrong answers today or any day on that matter, peace can feel like a warm puppy, a hug, comfort. Awesome. Thanks, Delaney. Landon, you want to do one? All right. Want to do that one? Everybody, please read. What does it smell like, Liam? Oh, so maybe some food cooking and spinach might be one of your favorites. Cool. And I heard flowers, lilacs, mints. How about, oh, how about grandma's house? Puppy smell. Any others, Liam? Cat smell? Cat litter? Oh, interesting. Then you have the best cat litter around, I think. Yeah. <laughs> what does it smell like? Liam? Cat fur. Cool. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah. Right, I love when I can smell rain coming too. Landon, go ahead. Fresh air. Fresh air. All right, cool. Those are great ideas about what peace smells like. Let's see. Tegan? That one's for you. Put it out there so they can see it. And what does it say, everyone? What does it look like when there's peace? Landon? People are calm. 
people are calm. So not your birthday party last night? <laughs> that was not peaceful. Liam. What does peace look like? We'll come back to you if you get an idea. Delaney? Lights. Lights? Yeah, especially at Christmas time when we have our Advent candles burning. Our trees at home might be lit with wonderful twinkle lights or other lights. What does peace look like? Ah, wonderful ideas. Oh, I can I can relate to that one. Now, peace might look like the people sitting at our Thanksgiving community Thanksgiving dinner, sitting together, talking to one another, enjoying the wonderful foods. It might look like homework club when the tutors are working one on one or one to two students. There's so many answers and we don't have time for them all today. Thanks, Tegan. And who hasn't held one up yet? Cassidy? Everybody please read. What does peace sound like? Sound like. Go ahead, Liam. It sounds like purring. Purring? Oh, that is a peaceful sound, isn't it? Delaney, it sounds like swimming in the water or the fish. Did you say fish? Oh, yeah. They just hardly make a little ripple and very little sound. Landon. Okay, get your hand up again if you think of it. How about sounds out there? Anybody want to share what it? Music, laughter, singing. Wow. Everybody related to that one really well. Peace can sound like many things. Thank you, Cassidy. Those were great ideas. Have you ever been in a situation, though, when it didn't feel? peaceful or sound peaceful or smell peaceful. Have you ever had a problem like that, Landon? No? Cool. Anybody want to share a time when it wasn't peaceful? Maybe you were arguing with a brother or sister about a toy. Ever happen? You know, Landon and Cassidy, your mama and her brother, when they were young, were fighting over a cereal box. <laughs> and suddenly, one of them, I won't mention who, hand <laughs> went flying, hit a glass, which broke, and cut her. I don't think she felt very peaceful. And as her parent, as their parents, I didn't feel very peaceful inside either. Raise your hand if you've ever been in a car accident. Even just a little fender bender doesn't feel peaceful. Everybody's experienced times when we're not comfortable and we don't feel tranquil and it's not peaceful. Well, a couple of summers ago, in a place called Ferguson, Missouri, many people became upset. They didn't feel peaceful. They didn't like decisions and actions taken by the police there. So they protested. Some of them marched and they had signs and they were wanting justice and peace. And then some people decided to become destructive in their protest actions. They broke store windows. They took things without paying for them from those stores. They started fires, and it was a very unpeaceful time in that city. But then, some people reached out, 
and something wonderful happened. I'd like to share with you a beautiful book about what happened. And so kids, you might want to come and sit down here so you can see the book better. It's called Painting for Peace in Ferguson. Wow, look at all those great colors. What do you see? A bird. Yeah, the bird has words. It has a leaf. It says some of these things. We love Ferguson. Peace, family, compassion, joy, healing. This book is dedicated to the people of Ferguson and St. Louis as they begin the steps of healing and creating a stronger and better community. It says, welcome. In the small town of Ferguson, in 2014, some people did things that were meaner than mean. Some people were mad. Some people were sad. But everyone, everywhere, everywhere felt pretty bad. Police were there and protesters too. People were scared, didn't know what to do. Some locked their doors boarded windows up tight to help keep them safe all through the long night. But when morning came, folks took one look around and said, we don't like the looks of our town. See the boarded up windows? We have an idea. We know what to do. We'll bring out our paints red, yellow, and blue. We'll paint up those boards that make us feel down. So there's kind of a before look and an after. We'll paint pictures of love and bring hope to the town. Shine on, St. Louis. Here comes the sun. And so they came out on a day sunny and bright. Young folks and old folks, black folks and white. Love this picture, coming together. They went up to the north and down south near Shaw. with their paints and their brushes and started to draw. You're gonna to wanna to take a look at this book at coffee hour. They drew pictures of peace, of hope and light that show loves even stronger than the darkest of nights. Some art had sayings with words that have power. This one is pretty cool. They thought they could bury us. They didn't know we were seeds. Other art was from nature. A tree, bird, or flower. Some dazzled with colors that danced in the light. Else, can you sit down? Sit right down. Other art was more bold, using just black and white. As they looked down the street, they were proud of their art. Because for things to get better, we must each do our part. We'll reach out to each other as we work side by side and love one another, both in and outside. The work is not finished. There's much more to be done. 
but this art shows the spirit of a new Ferguson. We don't live near Ferguson, but there is a need in our community to work together with love to build peace also. Here in Lowell, there are people without jobs, people without homes, or enough food to eat. What do you think we can do here to help? Any ideas? Want to share some? Go ahead, Landon. Give them money to buy food or give food to from which distribute it to families. Liam. What did you do yesterday to help your community? You and mom went someplace. I know that's not really Lowell, but what did you do? And why was that something that I think you should tell us about? What did you do at the zoo? You took food for the animals. It was Christmas for the animals at the zoo, wasn't it? Good. That makes a more peaceful world. We all can heed these words from the book I read, and the words are these. The work is not finished. There's much more to be done. I wonder what our next work will be. You know, I want to share a short poem with you. It's been stuck up here and in my heart, too, since high school, which was a long time ago. Things. <laughs> that didn't sound peaceful. No. <laughs> the poem is called Outwitted, and it's very short, but I think it has big meaning. He drew a circle that shut me out. Heretic, rebel, a thing to flout. But love and I had the wit to win. We drew a circle that took him in. It's by a poet named Edward Markham. Love and I had the wit to win. I love those words, and I think that goes along with the last verse of our Bible reading today. When Shannon read from the Bible, the last verse she read was, So then, we must always aim at those things that bring peace, and that helps strengthen one another. In my heart, that is why we became an open and affirming church. That is why we work with students at Homework Club. That is why Open Table became a reality. That is why we give to Mission Possible and so many other things. That is why we gather here each week to listen and learn what God has called us to do with our working hands and progressive voice. May we always use our words and deeds to show love and bring peace to the world. Please pray with me. Creator God, we thank you for the peace that you give to us. Help us to share your peace and love with the world. Amen.